what are your first impressions of Coach Lockwood? Oh, you know, I feel like he's a great coach. You know, I've actually known him for a minute. He's the coach in the Memphis area for a while, so he's a really good ball coach, really good guy. Is that something you guys kind of bond over, both being from Tennessee? I mean, yeah, of course. What was it like for you when you found out that Coach Alford was leaving? <laughs> I mean, it was, it was tough, you know. Coach Alford was a big part of why I came to Ohio State. So to see him leave was sad, but, you know, he, he has a family to take care of, so I completely understood. What were a couple weeks like hands-on with you guys? It was pretty good, you know. Uh, he was just being very detailed in the film room and did some of the drills we used to do, so it's, it's been good. Do you feel like you got a different perspective in the game from the quarterback angle? I mean, I wouldn't say different, but you know, it's, it's always good to see like his uh, review because, like you say, he's at the quarterback. What has this spring been like for you so far? <laughs> uh, I would say it's been pretty good, you know. Um, I feel like I've gotten better. Practicing every day, so you know, it's been good. How confident are you that you can earn playing time at running back this year? I'm very confident. You know, um, I know what I had to work on, and I'll focus on that in the <coughs> offseason. Like, I feel like I'm doing better with those areas, so I'm very confident. What were those areas that you had to be better at? Um, just, I work on a lot of catching, uh, route running, and work on pass protection. So. Dallin Ryan said that uh, you were. Dallin uh, Ryan said that you were okay with redshirting last year. How how tough was that though to I make mean, that decision? I mean, no, I understood. You know, it was a mutual agreement for sure. Um, you know, obviously, I wanted to be on the field, especially when I played and got redshirted. So it was tough, but you know, everything happened for a reason. Did that? feel like it was going to pay off this year and then does Quinchon transferring in then make you question whether that would pay off the same way? No, I mean, I, no, I, I feel like it will still pay off, you know, we need it, we have depth, so it will pay off. What has it been like having Quinchon in the room? It's been good, you know, he's a great addition, a really good player, a smart football player, so it's been a good addition for sure. Coach Day has talked a lot about the leadership Travion has brought to your unit this spring. How have you seen that from Travion? Uh, he's been way more vocal and uh, taking the younger guys on his way, so yeah, he's been a really good leader. What was uh, what's today having to talk in practice? What was, what was that like? Uh, I mean, you know, he was just walking around because, you know, he just got here, so he's like, he's learning everything and stuff. Like, you know, yeah. Johnson, he was pretty quiet today. Yeah. Like you. Not getting as much feedback like he gets from you. I mean, I kind of expected it because this, this is his first practice, so he's got to get to learn everything, so it was kind of expected. What's the like working with Chip Kelly? It's been great, you know, Coach Kelly is an offensive guru, so he's been really good. I feel like he's going to make the offense better for sure. What does TC Cappy bring to your TC, TC a really good player, man. Uh, very detailed, very tough. He's a good ball player. But to go back to, to Coach Kelly, in the past, I mean, he's had some really high-powered running games throughout his career. Did, is that something that your room took notice of? Have you guys talked about what this could mean for how this team runs the ball? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, you look at his days back at Oregon, the days at UCLA, you know, he loves to run the football, so it's something he took notice of for sure. The idea that the quarterbacks are going to be more involved in the running game as well this year to help you guys out of the running backs for a feel great about it, you know, having a quarterback that can, you know, pull it and run and use his legs, you know, it takes pressure off the backs, so, great. How difficult is it when that is down to It's pretty tough, because, you know, if you don't have a quarterback that can run, like the defense knows that, so they're just keying on the back. Do you feel like you can have that regardless of who the starter is this year? Yeah, for sure. How have you seen the offensive line develop so far this spring? Well, you know, they're doing really good. Um, I feel like, you know, we got a group of older guys, veterans, so they're going to be really good. As far as Josiah uh, Green's training for Memphis, uh, do you just know of him or do you met him previously? I don't, I don't know if he's actually, like, from Memphis. I just know, like, yeah, he's coached in the area for many years. So, yeah, I've, I've talked to him a few times. I've known him for a minute, so, yeah.
Coach Day said he was going to make you guys, the running backs, kind of part of the process with the, and I don't know if that was, if you guys were actually in interviews or did you just give feedback? Like, how did that? Oh, well, we gave feedback, you know, and he would, he would tell us who he's bringing in. He'd tell us, so you know, we got feedback. We were involved throughout most of the process. So, like, he would say, "Hey, we're talking to so and so," and he would ask, "What do you guys know of him, or what do you think of him?" Or? I mean, he would just tell us, and then have us listen, and then you know, we'd give our opinions. What was it about Coach Lockwood that made him a guy that you guys hate positive feedback on? I mean, you know, it was a great background. You know, and we just as a whole, we felt like we were the best guy. Coach Day, who we got. So. Did you go Google his name when you heard he was coming in? No, yeah. I mean, I know what he said. Yeah. Dallin, do you think, I mean, with this potentially being a longer season, potentially, hopefully, for your guys' sake, do you think this could be a running back by committee type of offense? You guys I mean, are kind of splitting up carries maybe here and there? I, I, could, I could see that, you know, yeah, because it's going to be a longer season, so a lot of people are going to be rotating and because you got to make it through the year, so we could possibly play 17 games. It's an NFL schedule, so yeah. How do you feel like what you do complements what Travion does, what Quinchon does? I mean, you know, I feel like I'm kind of just unique, you know, like I'm my own style. And I just kind of stick to my style, like don't try to be anybody else. So. How would you describe, last question, how would you describe your style? I feel like I'm a downhill runner, full speed. And, I feel like that's probably one of the best two attributes. Just being myself. Thank you. Thanks, Dallin.